First of the latest coming in from Iran where it looks like the gloves are off in the tussle between Iran and the US. In the latest that's coming in, reports are saying that Iranian President Hassan Rouhani has said that his country will exceed the uranium enrichment limit set as per the nuclear deal in 2015. Now the deal in 2015 between Iran and the major world powers had set a limit of 3.67% for uranium enrichment. Now, Hassan Rouhani says that Iran will exceed that limit by as much as is necessary. While addressing a cabinet meeting, Hassan Rouhani said, and I'm quoting, on July 7, our enrichment level will no longer be 3.67%. We will put aside this commitment. We will increase the enrichment level beyond 3.67% to as much as we want, as much as is necessary, as much as we need. Absolutely not. Iran is making good on its words, I would say. Everything that they threatened is actually happening in regards of the nuclear deal. Now, this is the second step that they are taking. As you correctly pointed out, they will increase the enrichment of uranium beyond the threshold of 3.67%. Why is the world so worried? Because of this threshold allows them to increase it even further and slowly, slowly reach the nuclear weapon grade. Um, uranium enrichment. This doesn't mean they will have immediately a nuclear weapon, they will still need to develop technology, but the major effort of enriching uranium enough to achieve one will be reached very shortly. This puts the European Union and the other signatories uh, remaining ones, uh, so everyone minus the United States, in a very difficult spot. Now they need to take a call. There is no more waiting. And amid the escalating tensions between Tehran and Washington, Israel's foreign minister, Israel Katz, has said that Israel is preparing itself for military scenarios. Here's what was said. Beside that, you have to take into account that the fact 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 that האדום קרי להתלקחות צבאית. אנחנו חייבים להיות ארוכים לכך, ולכן ישראל ממשיכה לשקוד על בניית עוצמתה הצבאית לכשתידרש לתרחישי הסלמה. Tensions between Israel and Iran are of course not new. Israel has even warned Iran in the past that it is ready to use preemptive military action to deny it from developing a nuclear arsenal. The foreign minister's comments come in the backdrop of a statement made by an Iranian lawmaker that Israel will be destroyed in 30 minutes if the U.S. decides to strike Iran. Israel's spy agency Mossad had in fact triggered a UN United States exit from the nuclear deal after they obtained documents proving Iran's nuclear ambitions. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has now revealed that US President Donald Trump was aware of Mossad's mission to obtain the sensitive documents. <laughs> ולהביא את הארכיון. הוא שאל אותי, האם זה מסוכן? אמרתי לו ש... כך הוא שאל אותי, האם זה מסוכן? <laughs> אמרתי לו... אמרתי לו שיש בזה סיכון לא מבוטל, אבל שהתוצאה מצדיקה את הסיכון. ולכן כשהבאתי אליו, אחרי המבצע, לחדר הסגלגל בבית הלבן, את הממצאים העיקריים שחשפנו בארכיון, הוא כבר ידע במה מדובר, הוא הביע את הערכתו לתעוזה ולהישג, ואין לי שום ספק שזה סייע לאשרר את החלטתו לפרוש מההסכם המסוכן הזה.